Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com, and in this video, we'll show you how to enable the call scaling feature on any Android phone. So let's get started. First and foremost, you have to root your phone via Magisk. So let me carry out that task. I have made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide, or let me show you. So for that, install Android SDK platform tools and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive. Once that is done, you will then have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking on your phone. So let's do that as well. So go to settings menu, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system, then go to developer option, enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Once that is done, you now have to get hold of, you now have to unlock the booter on your phone. This will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might make the warranty null and void. If that's well and good, you can refer to my guide and unlock the bootloader. In short, you have to use the either the fastboot flashing unlock command or the fastboot OEM unlock. So fastboot flashing unlock or fastboot OEM unlock should do the job. So boot your phone to fastboot mode and enter any of these two commands and the bootloader will be unlocked. You could also refer to my guide to get this job done. Once that is done, you now have to get the stock boot IMG file to download the, the same firmware which is currently installed onto your phone. You could verify the firmware version from the about phone build number section. So verify the firmware version from there and install the same firmware which is currently there on your phone. Once you've got the firmware, extract the boot IMG file from the firmware. So this is the boot IMG file as you could see. So copy this boot IMG file and then you have to transfer the boot IMG file onto your phone. If your phone is not visible here, then simply expand it and expand charging this device by USB and select file transfer. So your phone should not be visible over here. So let's access the phone and make sure to transfer the boot IMG file. This is the boot IMG file onto your phone. This is the stock boot IMG file from the current firmware which is installed onto my phone. Once you've got the boot IMG file, your next course of action is to download the Magisk APK. As of the time of recording, the Magisk version 26.1 is the latest version. So Download the APK from here and then place a APK file onto your phone. So as you could see, this is the Magisk APK file which we have got. So transfer the Magisk APK and the stock boot IMG file onto your phone. Once that is done, let's now install the Magisk app onto our phone. So launch any file manager app of your choice and then install the Magisk app. Tap on install. And once that is done, it will take a few seconds. So just wait and tap on open. Then tap on install next to Magisk and select a patch of file. Now choose the stock boot IMG file and tap on let's go. Magisk will now patch the stock boot IMG file in a few seconds. And with this it has patched the file and we could now access it from the download folder on our phone. So go to the download folder. As of now we have got two files. So the name of the file is WIS4Y. So this is the patch file. So copy the Magisk patch file from here and paste the patch file inside the platform code folder on your PC. So with this we have got the Magisk patch file and we will now boot our phone to fastboot mode and then boot our phone using this patch file. So let's do that as well. So type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot into the, into the fastboot mode in a few seconds. So let's just wait for the phone to boot into the fastboot mode. Just to repeat you have to open the CMD window inside the platform code folder itself. So go to its address bar, type in CMD and hit enter and this will launch the command prompt window inside the platform code folder as you could see and you should now execute all the command over here. So we could now boot our phone using this magic patch file. So for the ease of convenience, let's rename the file to something more meaningful. So let's just rename it to magic patch underscore boot. And let's now boot our phone using this patch file. So open CMD window and now type in passboot boot magic underscore patch underscore boot dot img and hit enter. So our phone should now temporarily boot using this patch file. It is always recommended to use the boot command. You should never use the flash command because if something is wrong with the patch file, then your phone might end up in a boot to or saw break state. On the other hand, if you have just used the boot command and if something is wrong with the patch file, then a subsequent reboot will fix all the issues and your phone will boot to the OS. So always use the boot command and with the boot command, your phone will obtain temporarily root. So let's not make the root permanent. So let's launch the Magisk app now. So launch the Magisk app from here and now you have to tap on install next to Magisk. Let's just wait. So tap on install next to Magisk and choose direct install and tap on let's go. So Magisk will now flash the boot IMG file, the patch boot IMG file. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for the task to complete. And once that is done, tap on reboot. 
your phone will now reboot to the booted OS. So with this, we have obtained root. And as I was saying, always use the fastboot boot command and never use the fastboot flash command because the flash command will end up flashing the file, which is not recommended because if something is wrong with the patch file, then your phone might end up with a few issues. So always use the boot command. With that said, our phone should now boot to the rooted OS and then we'll verify the root and move over to the next step. So let's just wait for our phone to boot up and then we'll proceed ahead. So it will only take a few seconds. So our phone is now booted and it should now be rooted as well. So let's launch the Magisk app and verify the same. Let me bring the Magisk app onto the home screen. So if I launch the Magisk app, you could see my phone is currently rooted by Magisk. And you could now proceed ahead to the next step. So next step, you have to install the Google Dialer mod from the official GitHub page. So download the mod and place it onto your phone. Once you've got the mod onto your phone, let's now install this mod. So open the File Manager app and select the Google Dialer mod. Then tap on Install, and it will now be installed in a few seconds. Once that is done, you will then have to open the app. So let's just wait for it to be installed. Now tap on Open, and it will now ask for the root. So tap on Grant, and with this, it has now obtained root. And now you have to enable the toggle next to Force Enable Call Screen. Apart from that, if you want, it could also enable Call Recording. So if you are looking for Call Recording as well, you could also enable this toggle. So let's keep it enabled as well. And then it's option to silence the Call Recording. If you want, you could enable that as well. As of now, our main focus will be to Force Enable the Call Screen. So enable the toggle next to it. And then you'll have to restart your phone. This restart is compulsory. So let's just do a restart. Once that is done, you'll then have to remove the data of the Google calling app as well as you have to then force stop the app as well. So let's just wait for a phone to boot to the OS and then we will proceed ahead. So in the meantime, while your phone is being booted up, make sure that you are part of the beta testing group of the Google phone app. If you are using the stable version, then this trick might not work. So please go to the app testing page of Google Play Store. And from here, this is the Google phone by Google app. Just click on the become a tester. And then you will get a beta update on your Play Store. Simply install that beta update and then make sure you're on the beta version of the Play Store of the Google Phone app. So with that said, let's now proceed ahead. And as of now, you should first and foremost remove the data of the phone app. So long press on the app icon, select App Info. Then go to Storage and Cache section of the Google Phone app. So let's just wait for a few seconds. Now go to Storage and Cache and tap on Clear storage, tap on delete. Now tap on force stop, tap OK. Now launch the Google phone app and tap on the overflow icon. Then select settings. And in under in the first try, you might not get all the options. So that's not an issue. You'll again have to do a, a force stop. You have to do a force stop around three to four times, and ultimately you will get this option. So let's now once again launch the app and again go to the settings menu. So as you could see with this, we have got the call recording so we and we have also got the call screen feature. So let's now test out the call screen. So go here and then, then go to the call screen option and it will now activate the call screen and it requires Wi-Fi. So make sure you're online and you have to wait for a few seconds now. And as you could see, the call screen is now enabled. So let's not test out the call screening. For that, let me make someone do a call to me and then I'll check out. You just have to wait for a few seconds. And if someone will call you, you will get a call screening on your phone. As you can see, I'm getting a screen call. So just tap on it. And now if first and foremost, he will get a call screening from my end. As of now, the receiver will be listening to this assistant message. And once that is done, the he will now say, some message to me and it will be typed here. So as you could see, we are now getting this message and if you want to reply, then you could move ahead or simply end the call. So guys, that was it from this video and I have ended the call. So they will get the sorry, they can't take the call right now. So with this, this is how the call screen works. You could now customize this settings and option and carry out other tasks if you want. You could also assign it via the Google Assistant. Then you could do it wirelessly without in hands-free mode. But if this option is still not visible on your phone, then you will again have to remove the data of the call app or also remove the data. And after that, you also have to do a force stop a couple of times. 
and after three four times you will then get this option and as a added bonus we have also got the call recording this this i also enabled from the same app as i've shown you before so just to round off you have to be on a beta testing version of the google phone app and then you have to remove the data then you have to force stop the app do a restart and again do a force stop a couple of time and with this you will get the call screen feature onto your phone the best part about this tweak is that you can now remove the root but the call screening feature will still remain on your phone so let me show you first off let me uninstall the google app mod from g apps mod uninstall it from here and now let me launch the magisk app and tap on uninstall magisk and select complete uninstall so magisk will now be removed onto our phone from our phone and our phone will then automatically boot to the booted non booted os so let's just wait for a few seconds and our phone should now reboot to the stock os and once our phone reboots to the os i will show you that the root has been removed and likewise the feature will still be remain there so both the call recording and the call screen feature will now still work on your phone even if you have removed the root so the root is only required for the initial setup as i have told you before so let's just wait for our phone to boot to the os and then we will check out the result so it's now currently on the boot animation and it will now boot to the os in a few seconds so let me now unlock my phone as well and now as you could see the magisk app and the root is now no longer there on my phone so now you have to do a force stop a couple of times so let's do that as well and now if i launch the app let's verify the result so go to the settings menu and you could see we are still getting the call screen feature likewise we are still getting the call recording you just have to enable the call screening upon every reboot of your phone that's a drawback of this but that's not an issue it only takes a few seconds and with this we have still got the call screening feature even though our phone is not rooted so the root is only required for the initial setup so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching